everybody! Today we're going to go over the top e-commerce platforms for 2020. We'll discuss what the startups, the middle guys and the hundred million dollar sites are using as their e-commerce platforms and why they're likely picking these platforms. At the end, we'll then cover the fastest growing e-commerce platforms. If you like today's content, make sure to give us a thumbs up and follow this channel. You'll receive updates on e-commerce tips, tricks, and strategies moving forward. And it costs you nothing. First, let's take a look at the entire web and see which e-commerce platforms are dominating the marketplace. We use a site called BuiltWith that scans the entire web and looks at what e-commerce platforms these websites are using. The scan is global, so it takes all websites throughout the world into account. As you can see, the number one e-commerce platform in the entire world is Shopify. They have 22% of the market and have been one of the fastest growing e-commerce platforms in recent years. Second, we have a tie with 15% each, Wix and WooCommerce. This is surprising for Wix. Wix is more of a general website builder. They have built some e-commerce functionality into their platform, but they are by no means a fully functional e-commerce platform. WooCommerce is open source, so it's free and is tied into WordPress. WooCommerce has grown quickly. They have a fully functional e-commerce backend and keep coming out with new features. We see them continuing to grow internationally because they are open source and anyone using their platform can modify anything they want. So, if you need specialized shipping somewhere in the world, you can add this type of shipping method through WooCommerce that you may not have been able to do through Shopify or Wix. WooCommerce is a big contender. Keep an eye out for them. Fourth, we have Square with 7%. They provide a basic website builder and have started tying in e-commerce functionality on their backend. They have been growing by attracting the small e-commerce shops because they're easy to get up and running. Fifth is OpenCart with 5% of the market. They're another open source platform and continue to compete as a global e-commerce player. Sixth, we have PrestaShop with 4% of the marketplace. Seventh, we have Equid with 4%. Eighth is Zencart with 3% of the marketplace. And ninth, we have Magento with 3% of the marketplace. Magento was the number one platform in the world for the longest time. They don't promote their open source solution as much anymore. So their numbers have dropped with their smaller sites. They're now focused on the enterprise e-commerce players that are doing tens of millions of dollars and more online. Magento One will also no longer be supported in June 2020. So merchants who do not have the need to upgrade to an enterprise level are switching to other e-commerce platforms instead. Now let's move on to the top million sites. Remember, there are billions of sites on the internet. So if you're in the top million sites online, this is actually really good. We look at these rankings through a site called Alexa Rankings, which is owned by Amazon. They rank sites from one to a billion on where the site ranks based on the amount of traffic received to that site. If you're ranked in the top million, you're getting a pretty heavy amount of site visits. For example, a brand like Tabasco ranks around the 300,000 mark on Alexa rankings. They're not on the top end of the million, but they are a reputable site that still gets a lot of traffic. Sites ranked in the top million are probably doing about a million in e-commerce sales each year. Let's check out which e-commerce platforms have the largest slice of the pie in this top million. Number one, WooCommerce with 20% of the market. This is surprising that WooCommerce has taken the lead over Shopify. Shopify was number one just a couple months ago. WooCommerce is seriously becoming a true player in the e-commerce world. At number two, right behind them, we have Shopify with 21%. Number three, we have Magento with 7% of the market. This is where Magento starts to become more competitive in the scene where we're looking at enterprise type sites. The sites that are doing more complex e-commerce that needs more fully functional e-commerce systems. Number four is OpenCart with 4% of the marketplace. And number five with 3% is BigCommerce. BigCommerce is based out of Austin, Texas and is another enterprise focused e-commerce player offering a fully functional platform. They're an exciting up and coming e-commerce platform which is contending with the Shopify's, Magento's and WooCommerce's of the world. 
Next, let's dive into the top 100,000 sites of the world and see what e-commerce platforms are stealing the limelight. At this stage in the game, we're starting to look at the big boys. These sites are reputable brands which get tons of traffic and have likely been doing this for a while. They're probably doing about 50 million in e-commerce sales a year or more. They don't take choosing their e-commerce platform lightly. They are going to vet these platforms tooth and nail to make sure they provide everything needed to run their $50 million plus sites. The number one player is Shopify with 23% of the market. Number two is WooCommerce with 12%. Number three is Magento in their wheelhouse with 11% of the market. Number four is Shopify Plus with 6%. This is Shopify's enterprise version, which comes with more features and support. So we can see a lot of enterprises are still using their basic version of Shopify, with a smaller percentage using the actual enterprise version. If we combine these two, Shopify actually rules 29% of the marketplace. At number five, we have Big Commerce with 5%. Number six is Flexify with 3%. Flexify is another Shopify extension. So if we take this into account as well, Shopify is dominating the market with 32%. That's almost a third. Then at number seven, Magento Enterprise with 3% as well. If we combine this with Magento's 11% in third place, this jumps them up to 14% of the total marketplace, edging WooCommerce out of that number two spot. Now, Let's take a look into the top 10,000 sites worldwide. These are the Nikes of the world. These are the top dogs doing hundreds of millions and more in e-commerce sales every year. Some even closer to a billion. Once again, they take their e-commerce platforms very seriously, as you can imagine. Number one, Shopify again with 21%. They are crushing it. Number two, Magento with 8%. Number three, we have Salesforce Cloud with 8% of the market. We don't see them at any other level. They are purely focused on enterprise players at those bigger levels. They're not really trying to play down in the small business category. Number four, Demandware with 8%. Number five, a familiar face, WooCommerce with 5%. Coming in next is Oracle with 5% as well. Number seven, we have Shopify Plus with 4%. If we lump this with Shopify just above, their total market share is 25%. Next, Magento Enterprise with 3% as well. Adding this to Magento, they have a total of 11% of the market. Number nine, we have Stack Commerce with 3%, tied with WebSphere Commerce with 3% of the marketplace as well. These are some really interesting stats. You can see how certain e-commerce platforms only come into play at certain levels of the game, where larger companies have different, more complex e-commerce system needs. Now, to wrap things up, which are the fastest growing e-commerce platforms on the web today? Let's take a look at who is trending. Number one, WooCommerce takes the cake. Number two, Shopify. They continue to blow through the roof with top rankings across the board today. There is no sign of them slowing down. Look at that straight upward trend on this graph. Amazing. Number three, Magento. They've taken a bit of a hit, not for being a bad platform. They have just shifted to focusing on enterprise sites and have dipped in their number of small business merchants. Number four, we have Big Commerce, who continues to trend upwards with small, middle, and big enterprise merchants due to innovation and the introduction of new features from a great team. Well, that's all we have for you today, folks. We would like to hear your thoughts, so leave us a comment below and be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Until next time.